Genesis chapter 34 in the King James Version. And Dina, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. When, and then Shechem, the son of Hamar, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her. He took her and lay with her and defiled her. And he sold clave unto Dina, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel and spake kindly unto the damsel. And Shechem spake unto his father Hamar, saying, Get me this damsel to wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dina, his daughter. Now his sons were with his cattle in the field, and Jacob held his peace until they were come. And Hamar, the father of Shechem, went out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it, and the men were grieved, and they were very wroth because he had wrought folly in Israel in line with Jacob's daughter, and think ought not to be done. And Hamar communed with them, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longer for your daughter. I pray you give him her to wife, and make ye marriages with us, and give your daughters unto us, and take our daughters unto you. You shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Dwell and trade ye therein and get you possessions therein. And Shechem said unto his father and to his brethren, Let me find grace in your eyes, and what you shall say unto me I will give. Ask me never so much dowry and gift, and I will give according to you shall say unto me, but give me the damsel to wife. And the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hamar, his father, deceitfully, and said, Because he have defiled Dina, their sister, and they said, unto them we cannot do this thing to give your our sister to one that is uncircumcised for that were a reproach unto us but in this will we consent unto you if you will be as we be for every male of you be circumcised and will we give our daughters unto you and we will take your daughters to us we will dwell with you and we will become one people but if you will not hearken unto us to be circumcised then we will take our daughter and we will be gone. And their words pleased Hamar and Shechem's Hamar son. The young man preferred not to do the thing because he had delight in Jacob's daughter and he was more honourable than all the house of his father. And Hamar and Shechem, his son, came unto the gate of their city and communed with the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceable with us. Therefore, let them dwell in the land and trade therein. For the land, behold, it is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters for us for wives, and let us give them our daughters. Only herein will the men consent unto us for to dwell with us, to be one people. If every male among you be circumcised as they are circumcised, shall not their cattle and their substance and every beast of theirs be ours? Only let us consent unto them, and they will dwell with us. Unto Hamar and unto Shechem, and his son hearkened all that went out of the gate of the city, and every male was circumcised, and that went out of the gate of the city. And it came to pass on the third day when they were sore that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dina's brethren, took each man his sword and came upon the city boldly and slew all the males. And they slew Hamar and Shechem, his son, to the edge of the sword, and took Dina out of Shechem's house and went out. Sons of Jacob came upon the slain and spoiled the city because they had defiled their sister. And they took their sheep and their oxen and their asses and that which was in the city and that was in the field. And all the wealth and all the little ones and their wives took their captive and spoiled even all that was in the house. And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, you have troubled me to make me to stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites. And I've been few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, and I and my house. And they said, should he deal with our sister as with a harlot? 